Super Series Bowls welcomes you again to Tweed Heads for the final game of the Women's World Team Cup. It's been New Zealand and Australia contesting the final here over three games. The pairs went to Australia in a thrilling tiebreak. So then it was up to Val Smith of New Zealand to try to square the series with a win in the singles, but she couldn't do it. Julie Keegan just too strong. So the Aussies are up two matches to nil as we go to the triples today. And Auckland-born Wendy Jensen plays up front for New Zealand, followed by Val Smith and then skip Joe Edwards, who's been in super touch. Queensland teenager Kelsey Cottrell plays lead for the locals. Julie Keegan is in the middle, followed by Commonwealth Games, Pairs gold medalist Karen Murphy. Well, these two countries, uh, Shui, have been playing superbly well. It's no wonder they made the final. Well, that's right. The whiz kid up front, Kelsey Cottrell, 16 years of age. She's a revelation. And Wendy Jensen, she's been out of the international game for two years. She's also playing well for New Zealand. There's a lot to enjoy about the skips, though. Karen Murphy and Joe Edwards, she's been in super touch. <laughs> she is a superstar, Joe Edwards. And to see you once again against Karen Murphy, this should be a very enthralling encounter. Ian Schubach will be joined by Daphne Shaw and Quentin Hull in the first set. Thanks, Steve. Yes, it should be a, uh, an entertaining contest as much as the World Team Cup has been decided in favour of the hosts. Hong Kong international player Rita Sheck is our marker. And Kelsey Cottrell, the bubbly teenager, Kelso. leading again for Australia. She's done a terrific job in the World Team Cup. Kels. Come on, Kelso. <coughs> Come on, Kelso. Very good start. Kels. Joey. Come on. The lead for New Zealand is Wendy Jensen. And this contest, as the final has been decided, has been reduced to best of seven ends on, per set. Nice track, mate. And uh, yeah, little Joey. Right. we should see some terrific bowls with, uh, in some respect, the pressure off. And Daphne, uh, I was just having a chat to Kelsey before the match. A pretty handy prize money check coming the uh, the winner's way, and uh, Kelsey's got her eye on buying a first car. Well, on, it's uh, certainly good prize money for them to share right, the buddy. girls. Ten thousand dollars. Uh, right, considering that Kelsey probably gets about twenty-five dollars a week spending money from her mum, she's got a year's supply. One bowl series. She thoroughly deserves Back it, though. Down, She's right? played some brilliant bowls. Run this out now. Big future ahead of her. I don't think so. And she's very fortunate to have uh, teammates here, such as Julie Keegan and, of course, the experience there, of Jules. Australia's yeah. number one, Karen Murphy. Who wouldn't want to play in a team with Karen? Great bowler, great skip. Encourages the team. Another bowler from the Noosa Heads Club, Julie Keegan. Showed nerves of steel to win the singles against Val Smith. Andy, mate. Get back up, Smithy. Other way, mate. And as you'd expect, uh, this bowler on the mat was pretty disappointed not to be able to keep her country in the final, but again, just before the Matcha was having a chat to Val Daphne and she's she's pretty uh, happy to be out there and hoping to Check, play well in a more relaxed environment. Run this out. Well, that's right, Quentin. It would be nice for the Get Kiwis under, to go back with under. one out of the three wins under their belt. Under this time. And, of course, I, I really think the pressure is on them in this game. Australia pressure off them a bit because uh, they've already got singles and pairs up. But uh, New Zealand would dearly love to win this one. Better. Come on. Come on, Keegs. Come on, Jules. Drop. 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 Great shot, Jules. Couple for Australia. Well, uh, Daphne, you're the perfect person to ask this uh, we hear the player saying oh yeah look it's a dead rubber we'll go out and just have a bit of fun but tell you what particularly if you're New Zealand uh, when you when you're down sure you're going to enjoy it you always hope to but Check, mate. you never want to give one away do you well, especially when you've got your national colors on exactly Quentin and uh, every 
Great bowl from Smith. That's shot. Every game of bowls you play, when you've got a scorecard, you're serious about it. Some people say, I only play for fun. They take a scorecard, that's not playing for fun. That's playing <laughs> fair dinkum. And that's what these girls are. It's, it's almost a throwaway line to maybe relieve a bit of pressure. The brilliant Karen Murphy resides on the south coast of New South Wales, plays at St John's Park in Sydney. She's only one down on the head. She could touch the jack. Two receivers Kaz. about 15 inches behind. Push, come on, Kaz. Come on, push in. Down. Come on, Kaz. Down. Graceful in. Shot to Australia. <laughs> Arriving beautifully on the backhand draw. And now the skip for New Zealand, Joe Edwards. Terrific competitor. And we've seen some really good bowls from Joe Edwards playing in the pairs. Played extremely well. I think she may just favour her forehand draw shot, but backhand's pretty behind. dusty too. That's good. Pretty handy for a second. Hurry in there. Come on, Kaz. Indeed it is. You play the same trick as you just played there, Joe. Just put that, that much more. Very similar bowl. Very similar result, and Edwards two down. Yes, a touch of the jack here from Joe Edwards. She could shoot it out to the left of screen. She could be looking at a couple of shots, but difficult bowl to play. She's already two down. Needs a bit of luck. Gets it. And halves the count. <laughs> well, she had good luck and then bad luck almost on the way through, the fact she didn't hang around. But nevertheless, Rita Sheck with the one gold lollipop and Australia away in the triples. Come on, Kels, a bit more. And again. Nearly, matey. Perfect win. Well, it's a bit, uh, bit of a shorter end here, Daphne. Yes, considerably shorter, this one. Uh, probably about um, 26 metres. But uh, much shorter than what the girls have been playing. Not a bad start by Kelsey. Track, no. She would have liked another couple of feet on it. Yeah, a bit. Made Wendy Jensen overcorrect. And Kelso. This one's better. Good shot here, Kels. Come on. And again. Great shot, Kels. Well, they're the mothers of Kelsey Cottrell and Julie Keegan. Both very fine players in their own right. Oh, you've got a bit of meaning for this, I think. Try and win. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Just diving away at the last Come moment for Jensen. Actually, quite a good bowl there from Wendy Jensen. Almost got the shot, but uh, rested on the shot bowl, forced the jack out into the open. That'll give Val Smith something to look at. Handy there, good. Beat that last ball, Val. Chicken shot's good. Keeps the head very uh, straight at the point of delivery, does 
Val Smith, as there's not much in those effective rates early on. Oh, that's quite low, really. Yeah, it's pretty handy, Val. Well played. Oh, mate, you touch around the corner before they do, mate. A chance now for Julie Keegan if she just touches that jack back about 15 inches. Australia will be looking at three shots. Okay, handy to Got the weight for it. Right. Right. That's good, Jules. I'd say any that from Andy there, Jack Level. Very handy all round sportswoman, Val Smith. See their very focused pose. But uh, that tells us she's not all that happy with where this one will land up. It's amazing how uh, quickly you know, Daff, as soon as you've let go. Just narrow. Oh. We've seen some great shots from Joe Edwards, the New, New Zealand skip. She favours this forehand. Plays it very well. Playing firm weight for the shot bowl. Two feet, Jill. Yep. Doesn't really change much. Touch on the jack for Karen Murphy. Out of sight and it would turn a count of one into a count of four. Uh, good opportunity here. That opportunity's been there, Shuey, since uh, <laughs> Julie was on the mat. Come on, Kaz. 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 Great shot, mate. Well, not pushing the jack through, but adding to the count. And now Edwards has the last bowl of the end. Quicker. Way quicker. Oh, this disaster. Absolute disaster for New Zealand. Joe decided to go backhand, and the nearest New Zealand bowls, two or three of them. Val Smith's bowl goes out. The other one flops down away from the jack. It could be three or four. Hello, oh, it's a massive count. It's a handful. Four plus one five. makes five. <laughs> a bit of innovation from Rita Sheck as Australia go to a 6-3 lead. Three ends remaining in the first set, and now it's advantage Australia. It's uh, two ends apiece. A count of five oh, previously. As Wendy Jensen needing oh, to be right on target early on, and that's not what she was hoping for. Yes, Quentin, that last end was a gift for Australia. They were holding two, but a uh, very poor choice of shot from Joe Edwards gave Australia another couple, handful of shots. Great track, Kelso. What a start, Kelso. Great shot, Joey. Great shot, Kel. Great shot Joey. About 15 inches behind the jack, but uh, there won't be too many inside that. That wins. Well played. Wonderful correction from Jensen. Oh, and the coach has got, uh, well, quite a few interests out on rink. Come on, Joey. There's Dave, Dave Edwards, the New Zealand oh, coach, on, husband of Joe. Hurry! Cushel again, able to outlead Wendy Jensen. Hey, do another close second, mate. 
Come on, Dan. I touch. Brave shot from Cottrell. A lot of leads would have kept the same weight. Hope to trail the jack to their opening lead bowl or rest the shot bowl, but just a flat draw shot. Yes, that's not a lead shot, is it, Chewy, to trail the jack? She's well, just there to bad. draw around it, get two Very bowls close. as close as she possibly can. Oh, Smith threatening to get a piece of the jack. Brilliant. It's two for New Zealand. Jules, we are two down. We've got two third shots. Try and play like, you know, like five, six feet down there onto the black. You get the splits very good or ours up and through the middle's good. Tough shot on the forehand. <laughs> the spectators. Anything else you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a smorgasbord of options. Julie Keegan shaking her head. Might have been easier just to drive at Kelsey's short bowl, but we've seen so often in this World Team Cup, the forehand with weight well, it does run a very straight line. Tough Missing. way to play on the carpet. On. Well, that's the right. There, Val. Very good. That's right, Just Shirley. losing that bowl into the ditch. Yes, it was a forehand shot there for Julie, but uh, when Karen said uh, five or six feet of weight, that's the difficult part of it. I guess she was just hoping if Julie missed to get a back bowl, but unfortunately, Julie played more than that weight and lost the bowl into the ditch. Nice trick. We might see a change of weight with the second attempt from Keegan. Wow. Similar bowl from Smith and she oh, adds definitely the Definitely more weight now. Big weight now. Stand your hand, Jules. Yeah, down there, run through the splits. Very good. Well, there's All a bigger right. target now too. That last one from Wendy Jensen. Switching to the backhand, trying to split Val Smith's two bowls right in the middle of the two bowls. Tight, but could oh. Oh. slice Wendy's bowl into the head. New Zealand, still three. Try. She needs two or three this time to make a bit of a comeback. There is the, uh, the looming threat of a, a Murphy drive coming. Oh, she won't be short. <laughs> Better for Joe to beat the back yellow bowl and to hit the front one. Now. Work now. Sit. That's ideal. Well done, Joe. That is ideal. It's not a counter, but it is fifth shot. Yeah. She's going to need some luck here, Karen Murphy, and it's a full-blooded drive. How's the hit? Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. It's, it's, it's... Oh. Well, what a great result for Australia. <laughs> Not plan A, but the results a great hey, one. That was a good hit, Quinn, and it was better to hit that bowl than Kelsey's short bowl, and one of the counters, very lucky to follow through, I guess, onto the jack, not to hit that bowl, the black bowl, onto the jack, but a good result for Australia. And then pushing the back bowl out in the direction of the jack as well, so very... Kind turn of luck for Murphy. Still one shot to New Zealand. Oh. Right, Plus one. Get this cash. A big shot this for Karen Murphy. Could go to a 7-3 lead. A failure. We just won the difference. This is the last bowl of the end. As always, a pretty brisk and confident stride from Karen Murphy. What a bubbly character. What a fierce competitor. She'll be backing herself to draw this shot. Very important if Karen fails, Quinnan, that she at least draws second shot. Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Looks handy at this distance. Come on, Karen. Push. Murphy does it again for Australia. How often has she brought the crowd to its feet with the last ball of an end while skipping for her country? Oh, what a shot.
And now a 7-3 lead for Australia with two ends left in the first set. Second set underway. A four shot win to Australia in the first. Wendy Jensen up front right, right. for the Kiwis. Kelsey Cottrell for Australia. Shiard. Kelsey. Daphne, considering the, uh, the Aussies have the series in their pocket. How do you think the uh, on, players are responding in terms of the level of intensity and concentration here? Are they going Come okay? On, Come on, well, well played, I think Kels. they're certainly going okay, Shuey. No one's over. giving anything yep. away, are they? That's why I'm just as hard as though it's been a drawn series so far and whoever wins this has got the World Cup. New Zealand, of course, they'd like to put some runs on the board and Not win these triples. Come out. Oh. Oh, That's a ball. That's Definitely well done, Wendy Jensen. Great trail of shot here, Wendy Jensen. She was one down, picked the jack up. Yes, you'd really think that uh, New Zealand had the pressure on them and they'd be the ones that are uh, trying 110%, but uh, the way I can see it, I think the Aussies are putting the biggest effort into it at the moment. Okay. Keen to make a statement. No hey, you bet that, mate. It's about a foot behind. I think knowing New Zealand sporting crowds as we do when the World Championships are on in Christchurch in January, they are going to be making plenty of noise for Kiwi players any time they're in a match. And probably Australia. supporting any team playing Australia. They... <laughs> They don't love us as much as they could, but it's mate. understandable. Lazy. And Jules, it's a long way out that one. You'd be round it, beat the back one, you're in. That's probably uh, reciprocal too, Steve, because uh, I've heard that the Aussies are not so fond of Kiwis winning. Personally, I like New Zealand teams next to Australia in any sport. Jules. Good track down there, matey. Come on, Jules. Down a bit. Wait. Another track, mate. Another couple of yards to the jet. Stuck on that thing. Mm. Rolled round it. Track again, Val. This is better. Val Smith holding okay. two. Looking to put the third one in there. I think she's done it. Great oh, goal. Right. One, you're beating, Jules. Okay. Crack was good. It's a real nuisance bowl, a short Val Smith bowl for Julie. She just needs to be very close to the short bowl on the forehand. Come on, Jules. Your weight's handy. <laughs> Try, mate. Very good of Bowls Australia to a really keen support. This is number four coming in from Joe Edwards. Murphy's under early pressure. Second set, four down. Bit of Bowls Australia to yeah. issue Australian playing shirts to the very loyal band of supporters that follow the Australian team all around the world. Nice gap there on the forehand with weight. Alternatively, it's draw weight I think to cut be, down. I think it'll be weight from Karen Chewy to slip under the front of that short New Zealand bowl, try and disturb the head, give herself a chance with the second bowl. It's really needed more weight to hold the line. Could be a great start for the Kiwis here in the second set. <laughs> Problem now for Karen is that front 
Aussie bowl, if she's going to make contact with that, which is a metre and a half short of the jack, she really needs to hit the bowl flush, not uh, half the bowl outside or inside edge. You see that yellow bowl is really blocking the path to the jack. So same line, more weight. Oh, she pulled it narrow once again. Solid. No, that was always the problem. And that is a dream start to the second set for New Zealand, who lost the first by four, but pick up four. After the failed drive from Karen Murphy, 4-0. Kelsey Cottrell. He's gone for the trousers, Daph, instead of the shorts, collot things. What are you? What's your own view about? Because I'm, I'm a fashion tra tragic, really. Well, I think uh, provided the colours are there, it doesn't really matter whether it's uh, shorts, a skirt, or long trousers, short trousers, whatever. Just to be comfortable. Wear the team colours. Be comfortable. Wear a hat, no hat, whatever they like. Unlike in my day, we were told right down to the bare essentials. That's exactly what we had to wear. <laughs> no. Well, the only player out there without a cap is Julie Keegan. Julie, I think you're a fan of uh, a cap indoors under lights, aren't you? Yes, most definitely, Steve. Um, it's got, the television Look lights are played. quite glaring. See how the shade on Kelsey's eyes it just helps Look to Kelsey, well played. focus Great shot, Kelsey. the distance that you're reaching for, and Kelsey's nailed the jack. Also helps when you play a bad bowl hiding under the peak of your cap and just not feel okay. as though you're <laughs> not exposed as much. <laughs> the embarrassment. Oh, this is a good bowl. Oh, look at the turn on that bowl. Can you Draw one down there, you get past, it's good. Turn yes. the shot bowl's good, mate. She's got a much wider drawing bowl than what uh, Kelsey's got. Kelsey just came into the jack nicely, hardly any turn, almost. Uh, 45 degree angle. Keegan, just a bit quick. Yeah, close you can, Val. Fatten them up, but. When you're talking earlier there, Shuey, about wearing caps on the indoor. I've actually worn sunglasses sometimes on indoor, just very light ones, to stop that glare. Is that after a heavy night, Dave? No, I don't have those heavy nights, you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't. Julie Keegan just looks to take about a metre off her last bowl. I mean, beat the jack high bowl, almost jack high. From Val Smith. And she's on the outside of it again. Miss, miss. Oh, she's almost drawing a shot around that bowl. Great shot. Well, that was second option there, Shuey. Yeah, it's covered the trial, forehand trial that New Zealand would be looking for as well. And there's no broad target at the moment for Joe Edwards to be attacking. I don't think Joe Edwards uh, would really want to be attacking. She's only one down, and she knows what happened oh, in the well. first set when she attacked. Well played, mate. <laughs> Very good. Yes, it was a costly, um, errant drive on the fourth end of the first set when New Zealand were leading 3-1. There's a lot of tension out on the rink at the moment. This is surprising. As you mentioned, Steve, with effectively a dead rubber. There's, there's more than pride at stake here. Well, I just about back Joe Edwards to draw this, Chewy. She's got a lethal weapon in her hand when that bowl's 
ready to come forehand. You know I think she'll reach up with about 60 centimetres of weight, try to sit the shot bowl or, or just trail the jack. I think it's an easier shot than a dead draw. Yes, this one, Kaz. Good on, Joe. That's what she was trying, but just too wide. Or unless you... Maybe you're right, Daphne. Maybe she was trying to draw it and she was too heavy. I so think she was trying to draw it. We'll know by with the next one whether she keeps the same line and drops weight or keeps the same weight Come and on, narrows Karen. the line. Murphy Come might on, close the target. Oh, oh, this oh is she a has. Good ball. Very good. Now a full-blooded drive. Great ball here from Karen Murphy. She's already holding one. Oh, it's similar kind of weight to my last. Just tighten it up. Yeah, now you're there. Yeah, like that. Gee whiz, that's a tough shot. Full-blooded drive. You can see the plants heading across. Take that. The three Aussie bowls could be removed with a forehand drive. This is very low. Oh, Joe's playing weight. So, much better option here. Back of it's all right. Jack moves. Still two down. Australian ball went with it. And a, a couple to Australia. Much needed in the second set, having dropped a four and a two. So, it's 6-2 after three ends in the second. The World Team Cup. Well, it might uh, already have its home here in Australia, with uh, Australia having won the pairs and singles, but uh, the triples the final match in the tournament for the women. Australia needing a, a four and a three. Yep, well played here, matey. Pass. Good shot. Well done. Great shot. Six and a one. <laughs> Trailing by seven shots. That's if they want to avoid the tie break. So that is the most likely scenario. Any score for New Zealand in this sixth end, and they'll go straight to the tie break. Not really, lie, mate. Yeah, yes, I goal. think. A bit. I think New Zealand are uh, playing slightly better than the Aussies. The last two or three ends. I mean, the score does show that, but uh, they just seem to be a little bit more intense. Come on, up to it. Come on, matey. Well played, Kels. Pass. Shots, Kels. Pass. And shots scored 13 to 10 in the match, favouring New Zealand. They won four of the five ends played in the second. Yeah, all played here wins. Very good, mate. Yeah, all we'll played windy. Jensen, great shot. Down there, Jules. Jack, two feet's good. Top ball. Yep, down there. Yeah, big tussle here between the leads at the moment. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. Skilly. Ho. Oh. Good. Well played. Well played, Jill. Might have a shot there, Keegan. Come on, now. You get another one on the head, mate. Turn that over. Be good. Straight, bro. Sit the ball for four, Jill. Sit and stay. Val Smith likely to play singles at the World Championships. Uh, Shui, what, what will decide Australia's uh, singles representative in the coming months? Um, There's a couple of Grand Prix events, um, Steve, the Queensland Get Open and uh, at Cleveland and uh, New down. South Wales Open at Tarrant Point, Get Wayne Turley's Club. 
Looking good here, Keegan. Just marginally wide, but oh, you got <laughs> size all around. Yeah, another one. Another one close, mate. There's um, very fortunate position, uh, Australia at the moment. Julie Keegan uh, being given the privilege and sometimes massive responsibility of playing singles for Australia. But Karen Murphy's played singles for Australia. Uh, Kelsey Cottrell is a very, very good singles player herself. Claire Duke is a current Victorian singles champion, former Golden Nugget singles champion. That's very good. Lindsay Armitage, That's very uh, good. So Golden Nugget singles champion. There's plenty of good singles players to choose from. So the next couple of Grand Prix are vitally important. Murphy with weight. Wow, oh, that forehand will not turn. Good. Like a broken boomerang, sure, he just won't come back. <laughs> it will not come back, Steve, with any type of weight at all. And it's just so lazy. That forehand toward the club with weight. At draw weight, as Joe is playing, the bowl will turn. Well, it's stuck in the tram we'll track also. We'll go for the outside of yellow bowl. They yeah, both go past out that way, Jules. That one? Yep. yep. It'll go yep. jack high, won't it? Yep. What Murphy's trying to do is drive at the yellow bowl on the left-hand side of the line, hoping to spear that black bowl across to the Val Smith blue one. The angle does not allow for the second New Zealand bowl to be removed. Both or none. <laughs> uh, they didn't quite read it or execute it correctly. One there. Uh, Joe Edwards doesn't need to play this last. Yeah. They're 10 2. They've got the second set and they can go to the tiebreaker. Kim Littlejohn, Cameron Curtis. A little bit concerned, perhaps, about the drop-off in intensity or concentration from the Australians in the second set. I don't know if I got the weight right, but she shit. New Zealand have won six of the last seven ends. Nice track, mate. Go, Kelsey. Yes, that's right, Steve. Go, Only one end there for Australia. <clears throat> and uh, like Joe Edwards has really gone up a notch, hasn't she? <clears throat> well, you, Come on, Kels. you could mount a case for Joe Edwards being player of the tournament, even though New Zealand haven't won the World Team Cup. Her uh, consistency, her range of shots, her reading of the heads, she's right up there, I Not think. Much, oh, right. Very reliable faster. bowler. Very, very good bowler. Not much between her and Karen Murphy. Uh, first set, Karen was uh, right on it, but I I think she's just um, failed a, a few ends there to Good let win. New Zealand win six out of those seven ends. Stay there, Carlos. Yeah, you slip your own's good with a yard. Of course, she's only got to leave the door ajar, and Joe Edwards is in there. Ready? Cottrell just needs to miss, but crashes instead. Oh, you play two out there, Val. And Chewy, if I can just draw you back to that conversation about the World Championships, what the, the format for the players? Uh, to reach a final, what are they going to have to do? Uh, get through to uh, a couple of different pools? Yes, Steve, and uh, it'll probably be six or seven round robin matches, okay. Okay. and the aim would be to... One yard, that's all. Let's go, Jules. Win or come it, second Penny. in your section. Get it with your first one. Uh, the draw is out, I believe, but I, I must confess I haven't studied it. Um, it's always the same as this event oh, here, Steve. There's two... Great. Goals, really. Great the first goal is to qualify. Come on, Come on, 
on, Julie. For the post-sectional matches, and then on, you're in with a real chance of winning it. Keegan knocks the jack straight down the line, and New Zealand's still holding. Shots with Wendy's bowl. It's about a uh, bowl and a half low. You just turn the black one over. It's the benefit of having a bowl just past the jack. Wendy Jensen's bowl now is nearer to the jack than when she was trying to draw to it. But uh, because she dropped short with her first bowl, she just made sure, Wendy, that she was just beyond jack high, and now she's lying the shot. Will you? Trail the jack would be the best result. Yeah. Val Smith's got it. Oh, Val Smith, champion ball. Gonna have to come back here, I think, Jewel. Any sort, anything behind Jack is pretty good down there. Like there's, there it is. You get into here's good. Beat my foot. Yep. Matt's on the tee, so she's uh, having to send this one Sorry. at 33 Hurry. meters. And she hasn't. <laughs> Australia very lucky that they're only one down here, Shuey, because that head's favouring New Zealand. Absolutely, Daphne. Australia, they haven't got a bowl past the jack. No, all those short bowls, and they keep hitting them. This is very close. Oh, perfect line. Just needed. Another 60 centimetres of running. Yeah, I think it's anyone. <coughs> come on, Kaz. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Push. You're on, Joe. Just another two and a half feet. Got any technical uh, benefit that little look down from Joe Edwards, or is it just habit? It's not something that would be deliberate, I don't think, Steve. It's just some I'd have it. Oh, I'll touch on the... Oh, that was... Wow, that's two. Tony, one, Jules. Very close, Kaz. Joe's what? last bowl, is that far short now? Yep. If I just skirt around that, close for shot, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you, you would... Weight is perfect. you got that much more room now, you popped it off. And because Australia does not have one bowl past the jack, there's nothing at all on for Murphy if she plays weight. She's going to have to try to draw her way out of trouble. Two down. Just getting back to the Joe Edwards uh, idiosyncrasy, Steve, of dropping her head. That could be a, just a physical sign for a trigger to just shut down mentally. Just let go of the concentration. Get out of the pressure cooker. Well. Wow. Happy that it uh, was only the one. <laughs> so the Kiwis have a shot in the tie break. Second end and on, just about a must win end for Australia. Fair start here. Great shot, Kyo. Come on, Kels, jump on it. Come on, Kels. Great shot. Producing your best when it counts. That's a handy attribute. Wins. Right, mate. Back touch it, Kels. Very good lead bowl, the first one from Kelsey Cottrell. This is the second end of the tie break. First end of the tie break, she left a couple of bowls four or five Another feet short. No help Come to on, the Kels. team there. These are looking good. Come on. Hurry. 
Hurry, Not Joey. Right there. Try nice nice again. Not such a good second bowl from Kelsey. It's, uh, you can see that gap between the two bowls. Run the Jack spin. available. Come on, a bit more. Hello, mate. Hello. Draw one down there, Jules. You get past the last bowl, you drop in between this bowl and the Jack's great. Well, I'm not sure whether that's the correct tactic given the um, the fact that New Zealand won the first end is remembering its shots counting in this format. Not the first team to win two ends. Australia just won behind, it. holding two, but Hurry. it's far from Hurry. safe. Pass the front. It would have been better to play the forehand and try to tidy the head up. It's just leaving the shot open for Val Smith to come along, rest the bowl out, there, or trail the jack. I mean, it's, it's another shot there anyway, so if yeah. you get onto it. Just underneath, it's good. Yes, you're right, Shuey. Australia yeah. holding two, you just... but Thanks, mate. the head, the way it's situated, favouring New Zealand. It's a very, well, it's a fairly easy shot, this, for Val to make. And if she misses with the first, she'll have the benefit of being able to correct and get it with the second, so... And then if she misses... Oh, there's that forehand toward the club, sticking wide. <laughs> Players just refusing to come in Still too on narrow. Get to these. Well, again, the more conservative tactic. There's two trains of thought. You know, either cover the danger, cover the trail, or take the danger away. I think uh, take the danger away would be the shot to play for Julie Keegan, but obviously Karen can right, see it the stop. other way. I think after the last end, she's just wanting to get a bowl past Come Jack High. Australia coming. again with three More. short bowls. Hurry. More. So Covering and counting. That's good. Second bowl of Kelsey Cottrell and the first of Julie Keegan. What a really frustrated Karen Murphy. They just failed to get past the Jack and that was what was required. Keegan comes to the party with a second. Still a fairly easy shot, but now what makes it difficult, Steve? You yeah, Fell Smith misses again. Well, uh, three bit. down. Come on, bend a bit. Smithy. Eh? Uh, right. I have it here. Whoa, the buddy. door was open, and in comes Val Smith. Karen Murphy left the shot for New Zealand, and yep. Val Smith. Obliged. Now Karen Murphy will have to play backhand. To play backhand to what she'll be trying to do is come just underneath the Aussie bowl, take the Val Smith bowl out or turn the short Cottrell bowl onto the jack. Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Come on. Oh, oh. Well, took out two Australian bowls. Not a good result for Karen Murphy. Had plenty of weight on it. Missed the shot bowl. Hit one of the, the nearest Australian bowl out and also took the back bowl out. So not such a good result for Karen. That backhand weighted shot. Come on, Joe. Right round. Ah, oh, great pole. Right round, mate. Well played. Edwards. Oh, so reliable. Oh, okay. Flat out. Joe Edwards still has one to play, so... This Jack could finish anywhere if Murphy hits at this speed. Do you think, Daphne, she didn't like that running shot? It's difficult on this indoor rink to get the running shots right, that easier with the drive? Well, it probably is easier on the drive there. And I mean, Karen was only a centimetre away then from taking both those Kiwi bowls out. So it was a good drive, just a fraction offline.
Come down. Work hard. Work hard now. Just around there. Hello, mate. So it's only two days. So we're doing it for Alice. One, two, One. New Zealand, and they're two nil up in the tie break. As we go to the third end, they're certainly in a good position. And Edwards will be playing last. Aaron Sheriff there, Australian singles player in the men's team. Wait, looks good, Kels. What a start here. Come on, I need a couple of good lead bowls from Kelsey Cottrell, Australia. Kelso. Australia needs two to get an extra end out of the tie break or three to win. That's the sort of start you want, Def. Oh, absolutely. When you're looking down the barrel, two down, one in to play, the lead pops one on like that. It was Wendy Jensen. She's played pretty well, kept Kiwis into it. Ready for Mike? Well played. Trailer counts. Into here. Trailer Jack. Shuey, being up is uh, important here. Well, I think Karen perhaps realises on the last, the tactics on the previous end, when she did not try to close the target down and just left it open for Val Smith. Yeah, now she's good. wanting Kelsey Wait, Cottrell to trail the Jack, which is That's the right good. call. Well done. Very good. I think really New Zealand, um, they've got all the momentum here, Steve. Hold on, wins. Seven of the last eight ends okay. they've won. Hold on. They've scored 12 shots to two. They've really dominated um, up, since the start Point of the in second. Here, Get down there, your touch him's good, or you pass it into here, matey. Try and touch start it. of the second set when they grabbed a four on the first end and then a double to lead 6 0 after two ends. Tiebreakers often the <laughs> present a Come new on, challenge. Jules. Run, hurry! Come on, Jules! Come on, Jules! Good. Well, a nice target there. Yeah. Hey, you can use Wendy. You draw inside. You're going to have really just good not enough too. weight from Julie Keegan to trail the jack out of sight. Just fattening up the target a little bit. On the other hand, though, Shuey, Australia's holding the two there, and uh, it's up to the Kiwis now to take them away. That's right, Daph. It's always better to have the shots there than have to make the conversion shot. That's right. You know, even if it is but a Val... target for them, they've still got to play a brilliant bowl to do it. Val played it. Very good home. And Very that is a good home. first up good attempt home. for Val. Get him around the corner, Jill. Get him around the corner. Down there. You're very close to your last. Now, this end, Murphy wants the jack out of sight. Lucky track again. Come on, Jill. Come on, Keeks. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Mm. <laughs> right. no, you drop uh, so much off, that's all. Great there's track. A, there's a slight gap there between two Aussie bowls that are near the jack and that last Keegan bowl. Trail of the Jack here, and New Zealand, I feel, would be home Hello. with a win in the triples. Looking good, it's just a question of weight. Hello. Yes. She's done it again, Val Smith. <laughs> She's played some big bowls when they've mattered, Val Smith. Three's out of the question, Steve. There's only a possibility of two on, and that's going to have to be a slight feather of the jack on the way through on the okay. backhand. Slice the jack sideways. Oh, has. Oh. Oh. And that is the worst possible result for Karen Murphy. Australia have won. 
Joe Edwards has played very, very well skipping and it was only that fourth end in the first set where she went down a five that she made a slip up. Come on. Yeah, well, well done. And Murphy's going to have to stay. push that bowl through and stay. Try and sit and stay. Sit and stay, yep. Problem is for Murphy, with that amount of weight, it's going to have to be a solid contact to stay anywhere near the head with her bowl. Miss, She's miss narrow. The miss the pass! Oh no, she did miss it. Well, Karen's bowl's running further away. It is two shots, so that's a tie. A good shot from Karen Murphy, but... <laughs> Look how much room the champion Joe Edwards has to draw to. She's done really well, Karen Murphy, to even give themselves a, an outside chance, but... 19 times out of 20, Joe Edwards could put this close enough. This to win the triples. Teammates will let you know. They've started clapping already. Joe Edwards knows it's good. And New Zealand take the triples. 3-0 in the tie break. And they were dominant, really. Wendy Jensen, Val Smith and Joe Edwards. And despite the Kiwis' win in that triples, it is Australia's World Team Cup after winning the pairs and the singles. So a delighted Kelsey Cottrell, Julie Keegan and Karen Murphy. We pick